Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, very exciting video today. Um, I got my <laughs> got my club order. Sorry, I'm hitting the camera. There's a ridiculous amount of bars in here. Also, I totally witnessed the guy via my ring doorbell drop this package right on my doorstep. I was like, wow, we're, we're really not being any more careful here. Uh, the back, the box was pretty damaged, not gonna lie. Like it was kind of ripped open a little bit. Um, but there was a box inside a box, plus we had a lot of this packing. So hopefully because of Scentsy's packing, we won't have an issue because the box looked pretty rough. So I have a really, decent amount of bars in here so let's get started i'm just gonna pull from the top and let's go for it so first right off the top i have pumpkin cinnamon swirl this is the fall retired bar uh smells like pumpkin cinnamon buns cinnamon cinnamon rolls <laughs> it's so good with like an icing or something um a new to me bar that i added at the last minute is hug in a mug this is like a chocolatey literally smells like a Tootsie Roll. These bars are still pretty cold. I'm really excited to melt that. Um, I've been in like kind of a chocolate mood lately. So at the last second I panicked and added that. Um, from the Catching Z's collection, we have Shut Eye. This was the one with like the peach in it. Prettiest color. This was like the peach and the jasmine. Yes, I did enjoy that one. We have Pixar Monsters Inc. Monstropolis, pretty purple wax. This one's so good. It's like Be Fabulous, which is in the current catalog, but it has something else in it that I enjoy more. Oh, I really like it. A lot of these are unavailable, I'm sorry. Um, Snowberry. This is like a really unique berry scent. Which it almost has like a little bit of tree note. I like it. Um, Cozy Chai, bring back my bar. This may be available in the clearance section right now. To me, this is just like cinnamon sugar kind of. Uh, cookies for Santa. This was from the Christmas holiday collection. This to me just smells like really, really buttery cookies. Oh, it's so, so sweet and so good. Um, we also have Marshmallow Mint, Bring Back My Bar. This also might be in the clearance section. This is just like a sweet marshmallow and mint, and then like, uh, it has amber, so it has like a perfuminess, but I don't want that to throw you off. It's just like a nice way of rounding together the marshmallow and the mint. It's not like super in-your-face peppermint. I also have Find Your Happy Wax Collection First Kiss Fireworks. To me, this is like an apple or something with like a men's cologne. A lot of people hated this, but I actually really like this one. Once again, another one I threw in my club at the last minute and I'm not upset about it. Um, Cutie Pie Cupcake, once again, bring back my bar, might be in the clearance section. This is like a citrus, it's like an orange with a cupcake kind of similar to the Walmart. Um, it, I didn't like that one. It was like orange buttercream cupcakes or something. That one was almost too citrus. This one's more on the cake and less on the citrus. So I actually like this one more personally. Um, could not live without this one when it retired. This is Dumbo Circus Parade. When I made my clearance order, there was some Dumbo items in the clearance section. I don't think the bar, but I think like the scent pack and the little buddy clip. I haven't had this in so long. It's so good. And I put two in my club because I was nervous this is never coming back. It's like peach, mango, and like vanilla. It's so good. And this is my quarterly. I only have a quarterly club at the current time. That could change so I put in two just because it is quarterly um, Christmas bar <laughs> Wassail Wonderland this is so unique to me it's like a drink with like a hint of a tree note and I also I warm this on Christmas and got a lot of compliments from my family so 
I really enjoy that one. It would even be nice this time of year, honestly. Like on a really cold day. I like that. Um, one I also threw in at the last minute, Autumn Road Trip. This one's so unique and I feel like it's nice for spring and fall. It's kind of just like fruitiness with like, I think the tree note is oak. Like it's like a woody note. It's not like Christmas tree, it's like wood. This bar is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit broken right here, but it still closes, so that's okay. I really, really like this one. And like I said, I threw it in at the last second because I panicked. <laughs> I put it in like the last day. Um, I got two apple and oats. I'll probably reduce this down to one bar. This is like my favorite. Mm, is it my favorite from the new releases from fall and winter? I really like, it's like apple oatmeal. It's so good. It really comes alive when it's warming too. And so I may reduce this down to uh, one bar. I haven't decided yet. And I probably won't decide, and this is quarterly, so I probably won't decide for quite a while, honestly. Um, sleep collection, snuggle up. This is like Jamie time, but I don't have Jamie time. <laughs> um, so I actually really enjoyed this one. Oh, it smells like kind of weird to me here, but when I'm warming it and like when it's nighttime sleeping, it's like the perfect calming. I, I think it has like lavender and something else. It's literally like jammy time like if I smell the tester and this next to each other they smell almost the same but I don't have jammy time so if I do try that and I like it more I'll pick one of the two but right now I just have that one um another Christmas C bar is crimson berry Christmas this was from the brick collection this oh I've never seen this I got uh oh oh I got wax all the way over here it's falling out <laughs> This to me is just like tis the season from Bath and Body Works. It's like apple and a little bit of um, cinnamon, like sweet cinnamon, not like spicy cinnamon. I really like that one. Um, I have Best Berry. I left this in here just because I wasn't exactly positive about it yet. I'll probably remove it. It's really not my favorite. It's really just like a berry. I think it that personally I may like better in the body care versus the bar. Uh, but one I really like is Petal Pals, which was like its component, <laughs> its little duo. Um, this is like rose and peony and like marshmallow or something. I'm not a rose fan, but this is so nice. I love it. Oh, it's so, so nice. And also I would have gone for body care in this. I would have gone crazy for that. Um, you guys know me, <laughs> two bars of sweet plum pastry. So the notes on this are like black plum, toasted coconut, and marshmallow. I know some people get confused because it is called sweet plum pastry, but, um, there isn't actually like a note that would entail its pastry in the description. It's really like plum, toasted coconut, and marshmallow. To me, that doesn't really entail pastry and it smells exactly like those notes. So... FYI, if you're somebody, because this is in the clearance section, I should have said, um, if you're somebody who's like actually looking for a plum pastry, you might have to mix a bakery with this. To me, this is plum, coconut, and marshmallow, exactly like the description says. So kind of misleading, like with the name. Um, but maybe some people get bakery out of this. To me, I get coconut, plum, and marshmallow. It's so good. It's so good and it's so popular that I had to add two just because, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's one I'll definitely be going through. Um, Arctic Kiss. Love this one. It's such a pretty color. This is so nice for all year round. This is just such a like relaxing scent. I'm, I'm getting into a little bit of like broken bars. I don't know if you can see the plastic is like a little bit broken. It's so good. What are the notes even on this? Like melon, a mintiness, fresh air. It really smells like all those things. It's not like melon, like the new spring scents melon. It's just like a sweet and it's like minty, like coolness. It's just so nice. The brick of this is in the clearance section, potentially already sold out. 
Um, another new to me bar is Snow Kissed Cranberry. I also put this in and I had never tried it. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this. I may actually warm this like before next fall. This is, seems like it would be really nice right now. It's kind of just like a perfumey cranberry. Oh, I really like that. Um, oh, we got more um, like broken, broken clamness. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it looks like it closes okay, right? Yep, okay. <laughs> That's the important part. If your clams don't close, definitely contact your consultant to help you figure that situation out. Um, because that's like if it's like this where it closes your clams probably fine but if it's like like I had a clam that I got for my mom and it like wouldn't even stay closed um and she didn't care because she was like I'll use it up really fast but she's like a one bar at a time person <laughs> um but if you're somebody who's going to keep this like until fall and your clam doesn't close you definitely need to contact your consultant because that you will lose a lot of scent if your clam's just sitting open. Um, but yeah, Snow Kiss Cranberry, I, it's like a perfumey cranberry. I tried Very Merry Cranberry and I didn't like that. And so I was like, I'm actually going to try this one. And so I ended up putting it in my club. Okay. Only a few more things. <laughs> I told you I have a lot in here. Um, Stroop Waffle Delight. So this is like a Stroop Waffle I'm like freaking out with the brokenness, like just making sure nothing is really flying off. Um, this, it's like a, it's like a Stroop waffle, waffle if you've had one. It's so good when it's warming and it's not cloying caramel if you're nervous about that. It's just like a Stroop waffle where it's like mostly the, um, like cinnamon, like waffle coney type outside and then a little bit of like caramel filling in the middle. It's really good. Also along the lines of caramel, I have salted caramel toffee. This is caramel, it's like salted caramel and toffee and I think it also has butterscotch in the notes. It really smells like all those things. The difference between these two is this one's like a lighter caramel type of scent. And this one to me is like a deeper, it has butterscotch definitely. It's like a deeper type of caramel scent so I like them both very very much also very good for mixing um, I have marshmallow mint cocoa I love this little like I only have had the brick of this I don't have the little bar ever before uh, this one we actually have our first like broken top oh this is one of my faves it just smells so good it literally smells like a um, like a thin mint from Girl Scouts like Girl Scout cookies. Oh, it's so good. So this is definitely heavier on the mint versus like Arctic Kiss is just like a coolness. This you get a little bit of that like thin mint, um, like peppermint patty type of vibe where you get the mintiness and you definitely get the chocolate. I might have to flag this one. Mm, it's probably okay. It's a little bit cracked in the corner. Um, I have Walnut Raisin Muffin. This was one of my favorite scent of the months besides our Tick Kiss. This is just like, a, it's like almost like a grape scent. And I feel like I'm saying like a raisin, I guess is what I'm smelling, but like grapes, raisins, you know. I don't get the muffin, like the bakery to it, but I'll probably try and mix it with a bakery. To me, it's just like a fruitiness, like the like a raisin type smell, like a grape raisin-ish type of smell. Like even look at the color of it. It's so pretty. And then it has a little bit of like bakery cinnamon, but I don't get the muffin note. But some people really got the bakery in this. This brick is available in the clearance section. Well, it was when I um, checked when I made my order. <laughs> um, and then the last bar I got is Winterberry Apple Tea. I had some struggles with this, but I'm not giving up on it yet because I really love the scent. But like I said, I've had some struggles. It just, it smells so good. And like I have the pods going and they're almost done. But it just like didn't perform in my open concept. So I have it in my club because I'm giving it another shot. I'm not giving up on it. Um, 
there are some Winterberry apple tea products in the Clarins section. I'm a broken record. <laughs> um, then I used my half price item for a brick in sugar cookie. You guys, I've been brick obsessed lately. It was so hard to decide what brick I wanted. I had three bricks in my um, club, but like, do I need three bricks plus all these bars? No, and um, I really, I, I could only use one half price, so I was like, I gotta pick, you know. Um, I may, since my club is quarterly, I'm just like, do I break down and just order the bricks through a Scentsy Club and ship it right away? That may happen, we'll see, but otherwise I'll exchange them out. Like for my next quarterly shipment, I'll probably use my half price item on another brick. So back to sugar cookie. Um, if you're not familiar with what bricks are, let's just address this madness. So here's this situation. It's like five and a half to six bars in this Mongo piece of wax. It's huge, it's so big, and I love every moment of it. Um, so sugar cookie is literally that, a sugar cookie. Like, this looks like a waffle to me, and I just love the look of a brick. It smells so good. It smells somewhat like vanilla bean buttercream. I get, it smells a little bit different. Um, I've been really enjoying shook, um, vanilla bean buttercream at work. So this, I may cut up some of this to do at work. I'm not sure that I wanna bring a whole brick to work cause that seems a little bit excessive, but also I don't know how I'm going to like store it if I don't bring the whole brick to work, if that makes sense. So I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, but they have these designs on the back of the bricks now and the bars will actually be getting that somewhat soon. They said it could take like a year or something to fully transition out all the old clams. Um, so FYI, if you start seeing that, but I think all the bricks for the most part have been transitioned into this new packaging with like the um, little symbols of the scent categories. Um, if you're interested in bricks, you can get them through Scentsy Club or currently right now in the clearance section if you go fast. Um, but you can just set up a Scentsy Club, ship direct, like add bricks to your club, ship it right now. And when they come, like you can cancel it if you are done with it. Um, that's what I would recommend if you're like, I need a brick right now. Um, but I highly recommend Scentsy Club as it is. So just because if you want retired bars, like for example, my fave Dumbo, <laughs> um, you can use them. The With Scentsy Club, you have the always get my bar perks. So they'll keep making it for you even though it's retired. So I personally think Scentsy Club's awesome for bars, but I know a lot of people use it for like their monthly like laundry or cleaning products or things like that. And you can also use your half price credit on a whiff box. So like, $15 for a whiff box, that's crazy. So I used mine on this bad boy. So these are $24 um, and I got it for half price, so it's 12 and it's almost six bars of wax for $12. You can't go wrong. <laughs> so um, that is everything in my club. I may potentially do a video of like ranking my club bars, like least favorite to most favorite kind of almost like a chopping block, like what, what will stay and what will go. I don't know exactly if, I don't know if I'm going to do it or if there's like any interest in that, um, or how it would even really like flow or work. I haven't like thought about it too much, but I thought it might be something interesting. Um, and if I don't film it, I may even just do it myself of like, what's kind of on the chopping block, what has to stay, those types of things. Uh, because with some of the collections coming up, I know I'm gonna need to whittle this club down. So <laughs> that is all I have for today. Let me know down below. If you have Scentsy Club, what frequency do you have it on? Do you have it more than one? Or do you have yours on monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly? Because I would love to know. Um, or yeah, like do you get a monthly with your whiff box and then quarterly for bars or things like that? Let me know down below because I'm really curious. I know everyone does their super different um, and I'm, I just want to know. So, <laughs> uh, but that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.